What's up people? Welcome back to the Boxing Objective. It's another video about the two-time World Heavyweight Champion, Anthony Joshua. Now, as you guys know, we are giving away a whole slew of boxing related prizes at the 500 subscriber mark. Just like, comment and subscribe to be automatically entered into the prize draw. And I'm also very happy to announce that as of today, the Boxing Objective is officially an affiliate of Amazon. There's a link in my description box below for a fantastic book called The Ultimate Boxing Encyclopedia, which is available on Amazon for $14.99. Now, once you click on my affiliate link and go through to Amazon, you'll be able to purchase this book and also purchase any other items that you require on Amazon. And as a result of doing this through my link, the channel, The Boxing Objective, will receive a small kickback in commission as a result. So feel free to follow that link and do all of your Amazon shopping via the Boxing Objective affiliate link in the description box below. But not to worry, there is no additional cost for yourself. All commissions are paid on the other side by Amazon. Thank you very much and best of luck in the prize draw. Now, this video isn't exactly all about Anthony Joshua. A lot of this video is gonna be about the whole situation when it comes to boxing, the United States and the rest of the world. Now, what happened this week was that one of those lovely gentlemen in the LDBC had a lot to say about Anthony Joshua. And he was suggesting that, you know, nobody knows who Anthony Joshua is in the rest of the world. Now, this is utter absolute garbage there's a couple of reasons why i think a lot of people not all of them there are plenty of objective thinkers over there especially in regards to boxing but a lot of them mostly with the ldbc cannot give anybody outside of their little cult any props so we're going to debunk that today and I don't think it's going to be very difficult to debunk because the truth is always the truth and the truth will remain the truth whether you in the LDBC decide to believe it or not. And that is facts, my friend. So let's take it back to, say, 2015. Heavyweight boxing wasn't, you know, the most exciting division to be following or watching. Even though Vladimir Klitschko is one of the greatest heavyweights to ever live, true Hall of Famer, he was not very much respected by those on that side of the pond. To be honest with you, a lot of fighters that didn't come from America were always referred to as Euro bums, you know, the people from Europe. <laughs> to this day, I mean, even Canelo's accused of fighting nothing but quote unquote Euro bums. And to be fair, I find it hilarious because this side of the pond, we have got quite a deep and nice looking talent pool, just like you guys. You guys have got fantastic fighters over there. We've got some fantastic fighters here. We've got world champions too. Now, I think a lot of things changed over the years, quite simply because America did used to be the mecca of boxing. But on that night, when Tyson Fury defeated Vladimir Klitschko to become the unified world heavyweight champion, a fighter from the UK brought some life back into the heavyweight division. Ever since then, boxing has just got hotter and hotter and hotter. I mean, in the same year, we had the fight of the century between Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather. And what followed after that was boxing just becoming real, real popular again. Up until this point, it hasn't stopped popping. Boxing is hotter than ever. I keep saying it, but it's true. Boxing is hotter than ever. And I think that to some degree, there's a lot of people in America who don't like that. Now, I can speak for some of the people that I know in the States who have an opinion about fighters from all over the world who base their opinion about these fighters on their skills. They like their character or whatever. Not all people are going to have this level of ignorance or prejudice towards people who are not from their country. And that is a fact. But the majority of people in the LDBC do not want to give credit to any fighters who are either not from America or who are not black. And I'm fed up of it. Now, Anthony Joshua is a global superstar. He's done it. He's made it. You've just got to mention Anthony Joshua's name and you've got Saudi Arabian royalty wanting to pay the bill to have the event in their country. I do not hear them doing that for Deontay Wilder. I don't hear them even doing that for Canelo. Mind you, I think Canelo, if he did decide to venture outside of America or outside of Mexico, I think there will be people lining up to give him a hefty sight fee because he's the face of boxing. 
but he's not a bigger global superstar as Anthony Joshua. So to even suggest that people around the world don't know his name, I find that unbelievable because Anthony Joshua could have a fight anywhere on this planet and people would pay to go and see it. It all started from the Olympics. He has that Olympic pedigree. Now, it's funny because people need to separate this, this fact of Anthony Joshua being as big as he is from who is the number one heavyweight because that is still yet to be decided. We don't know who the number one heavyweight is. Hopefully we're gonna to get to find out. Given how I said earlier, America used to be the mecca of boxing. Just think about how successful Anthony Joshua has become and only having fought in America just one time. All of his fights sell out. He does a million plus pay-per-views apart from Pulev, which I think was around 600,000, but that was during the time of crisis in the world. It boggles my mind. How could you even suggest that a man who is doing these kind of numbers in this sport is virtually unknown? Nobody knows who he is. And I think Madison Square Garden broke some kind of record with the ticket sales, how quickly the ticket sales reached to a certain number when um, AJ was supposed to fight Big Baby Miller. He did, of course, fight and lose to Andrew Ruiz on that night. And even that fight in itself, that would have raised Anthony Joshua's profile massively because that fight goes among some of the biggest upsets in Boston history. So what are you talking about over there? I just don't get it. It all boils down to your prejudice. Prejudice against fighters who are not repping the LDBC and who are not from your side of the pond. Now, I do say that bearing in mind that not everybody sees it that way. Anthony Joshua has a lot of fans in the United States. And even though he doesn't really need to go back there, I think he should. I think he should go back there and do another event. Go back to the same place, maybe, and get your W. Set that right from what you did before because you know we all want to see you do well man and that's that's the point of the matter Anthony Joshua is fantastic for boxing Tyson Fury now the thing about Fury is I think he's just got too much controversy surrounding him at the end of the day when you look at all of Anthony Joshua's endorsements I mean Jesus the man he's endorsed by Land Rover Hugo Boss, Under Armour I mean you guys tell me in the comment section below all of the endorsements he has but he has a lot. This man is big time. He's big time. And the thing with Tyson Fury, maybe, I don't know, but there's a lot of prejudice towards gypsies, which is ignorance at the end of the day. But at the same time, Tyson Fury is a bit of a controversial character and the controversies following him would make it a little bit difficult to get endorsements because, you know, these things count when people want to endorse you want to endorse your brand. You have to have that kind of image where you appear to be behaving yourself, staying on the right side of things. And even to some degree, there are some people who criticize Anthony Joshua for that. Maybe they feel like he's too polished, but that ain't the truth really, is it? Because he ain't he ain't all that polished. He's been in his fair share of trouble. And as we all know, he managed to turn his life around and I give him credit for that. I give, I really, really do give him credit for that. And I give Tyson Fury credit for the way he managed to turn it all around when he was at the brink of maybe even ending it all. You gotta give guys credit where it's due. And Anthony Joshua deserves a lot of credit. Eddie Hearn deserves a lot of credit because the way Anthony Joshua's career has been guided speaks volumes. And that's what's got him where he is now. So to you guys in the LDBC, you gotta accept it. Your guy lost and he lost to a Brit and two Brits are sitting at the top at the pinnacle of the sport. And when the time comes for those two to fight, it will be the biggest boxing event in the history of the sport. And I suspect that it won't take place in America. And it should just show you that times have changed. It, that's all it is, times have changed. America has always been at the pinnacle of everything. Entertainment, music, fashion. Culturally, people have turned to America. You guys have been the world police, like since forever but times have changed. I mean, look at how many of these leading actors that people didn't even know were British are in all of these big Hollywood films, all of these superhero movies. Christian Bale was Batman. Henry Cavill was Superman. We got Tom Holland as Spider-Man. I think Andrew Garfield also as Spider-Man. Idris Elba's popping up in superhero movies left, right and center. And all of these guys are from Britain. That's the fact of the matter. And even our friend, the new Black Widow, she was the best part of the whole movie in my opinion. Miss Florence Pugh, she's also from Britain. So it's just how it is. You guys are so far ahead and the rest of the world has caught up and 
everyone else is having their time what more can i say but anyway people that's me on this subject i will catch you guys on the next video be sure to follow that affiliate link to amazon where you can do all your shopping and earn the boxing objective a uh, small commission as a result guys thank you so much for all the support so far we are nearly at 350 subscribers it's almost doubled in a week i'm still flabbergasted by all the support this channel is getting from you guys and i thank you from the bottom of my heart guys i'll catch you on the next video peace